Welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Uh, before we get started into the real meat of today, I want to go ahead and show you how to get the normal ending of the game. Uh, once you've said goodbye to all of your friends, uh, you can go home and prepare. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, don't worry, my save uh, file is still there, so no big deal. Uh, at this point in time, you... Yo. Well, this is it. You really are leaving, huh? It hasn't really hit me yet. No more senpai from t tomorrow on. <laughs> yeah, so you're immediately they quit crying. It's way brought too to this that. cut scene. But, but <laughs> sheesh, uh, that stuff's kind of contagious, you know. We we got to put on a good face for senpai. Apparently, everybody's gonna cry. It will be all right. We can see him again at any time, should we choose. Exactly. The long holidays are coming up soon in May, so you better come back to visit. I've already reserved rooms at our inn. Let's have another sleepover. Awesome, so I guess we'll be coming this back time, in May. Our surprise sneak attack won't fail. Surprise sneak attack? Is it me, or is that guy getting more and more aggressive lately? Hmm. He's becoming it a, uh, a man, I guess. Oh, not a go. I don't want you to go. Oh. Nanako. Didn't you promise that you wouldn't cry? She also asked me to marry her, so I mean there's that. Building a case against Adachi is going pretty smoothly. After all, he's made a full confession to his crimes. There haven't been any more incidents since then. Inaba's finally back to its normal, peaceful self. Hmm. We didn't complete his social link. Now too. I couldn't ask for anything more. Thanks for everything. To me, you're just as much a part of this family as Nanako. I'm really glad you came to stay with us. We'll always be here. Come back anytime you want. I'll be at Juness too. I'm gonna keep working there and living at Yosuke's place. At this rate, you'll be a full-time employee. Reigning over the store as Juness's idol. Pretty cool, eh, baby? Hell no. Juness doesn't need an idol. No, we have one, like, right there. But Why are know, you sparkling? I am a little worried about the other world. That world still exists, even now. There is no longer anyone deliberately using it for evil, but we have no assurance that it won't happen Are we seriously again. talking about this in front of Dojima and Nanako? If Anika? it does, Senpai, we'll expect your full cooperation. Kun, don't even joke about that. Uh, yeah, my family's confused. It's almost time. You better get on the train. All right. So, oh, and there's all my Go other friends. Anytime you want, we can eat ramen again. Me and Daisuke will definitely come crash at your place someday. If anything happens, you can always come back here. I'll be waiting for you. Thanks for everything. I... Like your dress. Please take care. As soon as I can look out for myself, I'll go see you. Uh, hopefully you guys can't hear that, but there's playing going on overhead. Uh, like, really, really close overhead. Okay, so, um, yeah, where we leave. Well, see ya. Good luck over there, too. If anything happens on your end, we'll come running. Until we meet again, senpai. Senpai, I'll be waiting for you. See ya. Take care. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again. Well, be careful. I'll see you, big bro. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, that's all I have to say is just, huh? Well, I am a silent protagonist, mostly. Alright, so we get on the train, and... Thank you for All right. Well, please don't forget about us over there. I love you, Senpai. I'll do my best. You better not run away, too, Senpai. I'll always remember our time together. Distance doesn't matter to us. Even if we're separated, we're still friends. Well, that's entirely very sweet. So, yeah. Um, for the normal ending, this just kind of ends. Um, 
you go home, you pack up, you leave. And yeah, like they say, we really don't have any uh, clarification for why the other world exists or anything like that. And uh, this basically ends the game. So, yeah. Uh, now for the cutscenes. Um, I think we get, uh, we get a nice little song here, but we also get uh, credits. So I'm going to go ahead and bypass this because we're not done. Um, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. So, um, real quick here. After the credits roll, you can save your save game, as I did here. Uh, you'll see that the little circle on the left now has flowers on it. And it will be reading new game. Um, I won't be playing this game, obviously, because we're going to go ahead and cancel and go back. But I just wanted to let you know that that was something that you can do. So once you've gone ahead and completed the stupid credits, because holy crap, those were really long. Um, I want to say they're like six, seven minutes long. Is that right? Anyway, yeah, they're they're long. So let's go ahead and get back to where we were. Yeah, we're not loading that up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and load the save file from where we left off. So if you don't uh, want to just end the game here for normal, let's go ahead and leave the shopping district. We're gonna go somewhere else, and that somewhere else is gonna be Juness. All right, once we're here, let's just go ahead and uh, head. Oh, wait, uh, stop for a second here. Let's read that again. You should have no reason to come here anymore. Might as well stop by the food court one last time. So let's go ahead and do that. And this will give you access to the true ending. The usual food court. This is where you had spent so many afternoons going over the case with everyone. Just sitting here brings back a lot of memories. Huh? What a coincidence! It must be destiny! Oh, so you guys came here too! What's going it's on here? very own special headquarters. There are so many memories here. Oh, and Hello there's there, the rest Senpai. of the group. I thought you'd be here. We had a feeling we'd run into everyone if we came here. We were planning on seeing you off at the station tomorrow, but I was feeling too restless, so I decided to come here. Well, what, you didn't call me here, in the previous ending? Eat? Ooh, let's have steak! Steak! And make Yosuke pay for everything! <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you, Chie? Will you shut up about your steaks? Clearly, he's annoyed. All right, looks like I moved to a bigger table, and everyone's chit-chatting. It looks like we have steak. Ah, you reminisced with the others. I really had fun in this world. Dude, your whole existence is about fun. Well, what we've gone through wasn't all fun and games. But I gotta say, I've never felt so fulfilled in my life. It seems we've been working on this forever, but at the same time, it... Felt like it went so fast. We won't ever gather here again like this. Or tear our hair out trying to solve the mysteries. Even if we wanted to talk about it all, there were so many extraordinary things that no one would believe us. I guess we could just bring them into the TV with us. For me, I think it all started when Chie told me about the Midnight Channel. I think I heard about it from her too. How did you learn about it, Chie? I guess it was just a random rumor. A lot of girls were trying it out. Huh. I wonder how it started then. Who knows? Maybe someone accidentally came across it? The Midnight Channel. You know, that really was the cause of everything. I mean, the fog lifted after we caught Adachi, but there's still a lot of stuff that isn't clear yet. It's still foggy over there, too. Hmm. Some weird guy might use it to do bad things. <laughs> weird again. guy? What kind of weird guy? Didn't that Amino something monster say it granted us power? I bestowed power onto those who could brave the hollow forest. In other words, he gave the power to enter TVs to those who awakened to their persona ability so that he might use us as pawns to enact his scheme. Well, we defeated him, right? So hey, he's gone. that reminds me. Didn't your hand suddenly slip into the TV even before anything happened to you? 
Does that mean you're an exception? Well, wait, then what about Adachi and Namatame? Those two could go inside TVs before all this stuff about personas, right? What? Yeah, Namatami then didn't have Sinkai a persona. And the other two could do it for some other reason? And there must be something you're not remembering. Anything come to your mind, Senpai? You're the only exception. You had the power to enter TVs before your persona awakened. And the same goes for Dachi and Namatame. You remember that Nanako gave you something this morning as you were about to leave. Hmm. A letter? Hey, this better not be another warning. The, le the sender is listed as Adachi. Huh? This is from jail? It's from Adachi. Let's see what it has to say. I'm sure you're surprised to get this letter out of the blue. I'm writing this because there's something I need to tell you. Ever since I made it out alive, there are some things I understand now. It's true that my game's over. As you all insisted at the time, I'll abide by the rules of this world. But as long as I'm in stir here, I can't clean up after myself. What do you mean? So I hope this will give you something to think about regarding this case. There's still this feeling I can't shake. It's about how it all started, about that midnight channel. Now I remember, someone told me about it when I first came to town before I heard the rumors at the station. And I was intrigued when I noticed that something similar was written on Namatame's reports as well. But I can't remember who it was that told me. Hmm. Since Namatame and I both gained our power after coming to Inaba, I have a feeling that has something to do with it. I don't know if any of this will be useful or not, but I hope it can help somehow. Hmm, the dodgy helping from inside jail. There's still more. When I'm here, I think of Dojima-san, Nanako-chan, and you. A lot. Though my time with you didn't seem like much fun before. It's strange. Dachi's will organize words unfold on a piece of stationary paper. Despite it all, I'm grateful to you. Thank you. But let me just say this. You're a dumbass. <laughs> you take the path you choose, and I'll think about what that means to me, too. I doubt I'll ever see you again, but stay healthy. Goodbye. <laughs> Even after all that, he, uh, the letter ends, he ends there. He seems to uh, care a little bit about you. You feel a definite bond between you and Adachi. Yeah, so uh, this is how you actually complete your final social link, and to max out the hunger social link... You come here, you get the letter, you read the letter, you complete the uh, social link, and that has to do with the fact that he still cares about you. So yeah, now we confuse uh, Magatsu Izagami, which is uh, Adachi's persona, believe it or not. So yeah, the tempter of the void. So that's really cool. Still though, the things he wrote not you. Who did we learn about the Midnight Channel from? helpful to know that he can't remember who it was. I'm not sure how to put it, but I kind of know the feeling. It's like... I don't know how to say this. Like something's connecting all these things. Something beyond what we can see. That world. The midnight channel. The ability to enter TVs. They all feel like separate things. You know what I mean? First the rumors... Then the serial murder, followed by us deciding to investigate the case. If they all really were separate, they wouldn't fit together like this, right? There has to be some kind of conductor behind everything. You think someone's so running the show? The person Adachi mentioned, the one who told him about the Midnight Channel, is that conductor? Uh, did I strike gold again? <laughs> it's seriously just something that popped into my head! Okay, you're getting a little excited Senpai, there. Is there anything like that you can think of? The power to enter TVs, where everything about this case started. You learned about the Midnight Channel from Chi a few days after coming to this town when she told you the rumor. 
but Adachi and Namatame heard about the Midnight Channel from someone immediately after coming to this town. When you think back, you feel as though if something happened to you as well upon your arrival here. Uh, you want to say there is something. We were involved in a murder case last year, which we succeeded in solving. But the monster we fought last said we did well in playing our parts. Perhaps this means Adachi and Namatame were players as well. Could it be that from the beginning, this serial murder case was merely a portion of a much larger scheme? And none of the people who were directly involved in the case ever suspected it. Hey, this scheme... Could it be the whole thing about filling both worlds with the fog and turning mankind into shadows? So someone was behind the scenes watching us. The culprits. And maybe even that monster. And he manipulated Adachi and Namatame at the very beginning, so everything would come together perfectly? It seems so bizarre. Let's go out into town. We might find something. Although, you may be the only one capable of noticing it. Oh, Please thanks. contact the rest of us should you come across anything. We can't say our goodbyes tomorrow with this hanging over our heads. Let's go figure this out. Alright, so off we go again. Uh, who could have given you the initial spark for this power? The one you met immediately after coming to town was... Uh, well, my uncle. In any case, you need to see them and confirm the truth. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just lead you to where you need to go. Uh, and the first place you need to go is gonna be the Central Shopping District, because that's where I'm going to save. Um, and leave you off for today. Uh, next time, we're gonna go ahead and try and figure out who, um, who's the conductor? Who's doing all this? Um, and where we need to go from here? And what's the giant scheme? Well, we're gonna find out, eh, maybe next time. We'll just figure out some of it next time. So I will see you then.